Oh, the tribe. So, quick thought. Every moment. Every moment where we, well, that we engage with another human being, let alone engage with ourselves, is an opportunity to shape one's ego. Interesting, isn't it? So, it's not something I'd really ever thought about. However, our ego is being shaped constantly by our experiences, right? Every single engagement with another human being presents an opportunity of the shaping or reshaping of one's ego. So, whether it be family, friends, um, lovers, loved ones, every moment, every relation that you have um, is the opportunity to shape who you are and how you show up. Um, you know, and the ego really has two major roles, better than or less than. That's it. Um, better than or less than. Do I feel greater than the experience that I'm having or the person that I'm having the experience with, right? So do I feel better than the actual experience and how does that direct me? Or do I feel less than the experience or the person that I'm with and how does that direct me? So that's it. Um, and a lot of people get caught up in the word narcissism and codependency in that. And it's one and the same. So a narcissist, well, the narcissist is the codependent, 100%. So a narcissist starts out as a codependent being, but they do so by attempting to steal energy from another human being. Um, but they are very dependent on other people to sustain their energy or their, um, what do they call it, feed. So you require, a, a, a narcissistic being requires a person to feed off of. Um, so they themselves are the codependent with the narcissist. However, simply all that is, is the, the ego at full spectrum play. You know what I mean? Like, it's just the ego. The ego says that we are less than or greater than. That is all. And when we say less than or greater than, what are we in reference to in the then? Like, what is the then? Source. Source creator energy. The source inside of you, right? So do you feel greater than the source energy inside of you or less than the source energy inside of you? in reflection to the person, I guess person, place, or thing, but let's just go simply with the person in your presence, right? And so that part of you that wonders, like I know for me, one of my primary issues in any given situation, in any given situation, is how may I show up in this moment? And so really, I think, you know, it, it, how may I serve? How may I serve? And so I, I constantly um, have a dance with being in service to other people. Many layers and reasonings to why that is in my development and why I am that being. Um, however, that can honestly be an underlying, my underlying drive. Um, when I have conversations with people is, you know, what level of service am I offering? And so that can, that's my ego too, because do I feel um, purpose without that, you know? And do I feel important without that? Um, and I'm going to intertwine that at this moment. My purpose, my purpose is what makes me feel important. So if I am not fulfilling my purpose, then maybe my lack of, you know, the ego of not feeling important you know simple so I have danced with that often and just simply being able to be and have fun 
I've worked hard on that. Um, so knowing oneself and how we do that. So that was absolutely part of my own ego's journey of just simply having fun and being present in the moment and not having to be in service to another human being and just simply be in service to happiness. Crazy, right? To simply be in service to happiness. Um, and so that's probably one of my biggest lessons in life personally. Um, however, it's important for us to know that about ourselves. Like how do we determine those things about ourselves? We must meet the energy, hopefully in, in the moment of the experience. So in the moment of the experience, realizing that you're responding in a certain way in any moment in time, engagement with another human being. Why are you responding in that way? Are you sharing energy? Are you retracting energy? Are you trying to overpower your energy? Paying attention to what your energy feel, what your energy force is actually doing in any given moment, and why am I presenting that way? That right there is you shaping your ego, yet that is you witnessing the shaping of your ego. And so sometimes we can't do it in the moment, and we have to walk away, and we have to reevaluate and determine what that is. Um, I know that was been some of my most powerful greatest lessons um, is in witnessing how I have felt or responded in different given situations and this really you know the being in service to other people you know knowing you know I could say the astrological charts but that that is just who I am so knowing my astrological chart it makes absolute sense that that is how I would present um, however However, do I need to use that as my crutch? No, no, I don't. Uh, what triggered that from other experiences in this lifetime that may have anchored those behaviors or, you know, all of those important questions come up in the analysis and understanding of why we're choosing what we're choosing in those moments. It's, it's important. Um, otherwise, the ego does take over and it will shape you into a being that you may or may not enjoy being, you know, and, and may have to clean up its mess later on because the ego will create situations that make you have to clean up its mess later on. Um, yeah, so it's just interesting. It's just really, really interesting. Um, yeah, but it'll give us many of opportunities. It gives us many opportunities to determine and, and shape it. And it's a gift, what a gift that is. Uh, but you get to choose, you get to choose um, how you show up in any given moment and, and why. Yeah, Because every experience is the shaping of the ego. Every experience. So cool, so cool. All right, yo, peace out tribe. Mwah! Have a great night. That was my little vlog snippet. Um, I'm supposed to say if you like what you see, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, there'll be definitely more, you know, snippets of random, random things. All right. Peace out, y'all. Love you.